Polar bears travel further than any other bears in their searches. Sledging saves energy, a trick soon learned by the cubs. A single polar bear may range 300,000 square kilometers, an area the size of Italy. This is the greatest range of any land mammal, 10,000 times that of the panda. Polar bears are the most modern bear, having evolved from the grizzly just 200,000 years ago. But the largest carnivore in the world has to be careful. She's walking on thin ice. Quickly, she flattens her body. 400 kilo must be spread over as much area as possible. The lighter cubs needn't worry. Polar bears have the most sensitive nose of any mammal. They can smell a seal 30 kilometers away. They eat almost exclusively ringed seals. This is the remains of another bear's meal. spring and food is plentiful. When pregnant, she didn't eat for eight long months. She has some catching up to do. Hungry bears are not to be messed with. Even scavenging ivory gulls know the rules. Somebody downstairs? Ah! Oh, God, Meg, you started. With Liam Neeson in Unknown, please welcome Diane Kruger. <laughs> star from the times of black and white. Aww. Is that a, that's a compliment, right? Yeah, I think so, I guess. Am yes. I terrible in color? No, you oh. look beautiful in color. You look amazing. But Thank it's you. one of those pictures that you would see. Like a beauty, like a, a natural beauty. Like when I was a young boy, uh, Donna Reed, who was very lovely, you remind me of Donna Reed. Aww, that's very sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Now, you are, you're German. Born in Germany. Born in right. Germany. Wow. Yes. Is that, that, it seems like a hard language to... To learn, yeah. Yes. It is. Because it, it, it always sounds like somebody's yelling. I know, people say that, but... <laughs> I mean, we do a lot, but it's, 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 not, it's, a, it's, a, it's a harsh language. How do you say you are beautiful and your eyes are sparkling in German? Are you fishing for compliments? No! <laughs> <laughs> Du bist wunderschön und deine Augen funkeln. Wo ist der Your eyes are sparkling. You are, your eyes are sparkling. They are. What is that in German? Deine Augen funkeln. Funkeln. 
Well, let me say it to you this way. Okay. You look fucking okay. hot. <laughs> now, it, it, was it, a, was it a, a, a large town? Was it, what, what kind, what was the name of the town that you grew up in? Oh, it's called Algamizen. It's 2,000 people. We don't even have a bar. That's how little In Germany, is. there's a town without a you, bar? You think, right? You think, yeah, no, seriously. Yeah. Very small. And what was that like to grow up in? It was mostly great, um, you know, running around in the fields, very, very wild. Yeah. I did have the odd jobs to do as a, as a kid. Um, I was an, an altar girl, but I guess exclusively at uh, funerals. No, seriously, I feel like that's why I became an actress. For like two years to make money on the side, I would stand in front of coffins during service with a, with a candle, you know, and see people mourn three times a week, you know, walk in front of the coffin. It was one of those odd jobs, you know, where you can just tell, like, the, the priest, is, it's the same service over and over, and you go, listen, Joe cannot really happen, another one of the greatest men ever. <laughs> you know, and, then, and you get a feel for, for people that are mourning. You go, his wife's not really that sad. <laughs> it was, I feel like I became an actress because of that. I can do mourning really well. Yeah. <laughs> they, so when you'd stand there, you could tell who was happy and who was sad? And, and, and yeah, I, yeah. How much did you get paid? Five Deutschmarks at the time, which is like, I don't know, three euros? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So in wanting to be an actress, how do you go from that little town? Was there anybody famous that had come from your town? <laughs> Nobody, no. <laughs> no, I, I was a ballet dancer, dancer. I studied with the Royal Academy of London. And uh, so I grew up, you know, basically my mother couldn't afford a nanny, right? That was... Oh, so she put you in ballet. <laughs> exactly, which was great, and I loved it. And um, I did that for 11 years, and I thought, you know, I was on stage and dancing, and then I... I realized I didn't really have the talent to be a Wait a minute, so you did it for 11 years. How old were you when you started? Uh, two and a half. <laughs> you were two and a half, yeah, a two and a half year old little. ballet dancer? Well, we can In a little town know. with 2,000 people? Oh, that was people? in the big town. It's like 45 oh. minutes away. Oh. And then, how did you, did you hurt yourself or how did you? I did. I had an injury um, which put me out for six months and then, you know, I just realized it, it just I was I was going to be the girl dancing in the background, and that wasn't for me. Background, not on a pole though, but just dancing. <laughs> no, 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 Black Swan. Remember? Not, yeah, Black Swan. Yeah. But Black Swan, you saw that kind of life. That very you have yeah, to be devoted yes, to yes. this thing, through pain and through all of that. Yeah, exactly. And then you went to did you move to Paris? I heard that. I be, yeah, so the, uh, I I became a model. Yes. Um, and I moved to Paris, which I still keep a place in, and I make French films as well, and I love. Very Nice. Yeah. yeah. How old were you when you were a model? You had to be very uh, young. Sixteen, um, and then I quit when I was twenty-one. And did you live in Paris on your own? Was your pa was your mother with your parents with you? No, my mom. Who else but an avid, lifelong football fan would go through this much effort for the World Cup? Floridian Juline Kane is a relatively new supporter, and determined it seems to make up for lost time. I just live for it now. This is a, you know, a whole month of um, a lot of ups and sometimes some downs, but it's all good in between. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and bring on World Cup. We're ready. All right! Go England! It's been 20 years since the U.S. hosted the World Cup. The sport still needs more people like Jeline and her husband, John. Support is uneven at best, but the presence of superstars like David Beckham and his plans for U.S. Major League Soccer have helped, as have changing demographics. The biggest thing I'm looking forward to is uh, all the colors, all the people representing their, their places they're from, and, you know, and it's all for one unifying event, and that's really makes me happy. I think it brings together everyone throughout the entire world. Everyone's kind of cheering for their country and kind of unites them, um, and everyone gets excited about it. It's not just one country. Despite the obvious passion for the World Cup, football here still doesn't get the kind of audiences that say basketball and baseball does. It's certainly come a long way over the past few years, but most sporting pundits will tell you the beautiful game is nowhere near to challenging the sporting status quo. Alrighty, let's give it a go. All right. Cool. Okay, coach. Former player turned commentator Ray Hudson has been involved with football in the U.S. for more than three decades. He's seen the sport mature, but says it may be years before football hits the big time. 
it's something that isn't going to be done with one sweep of marketing or one uh, World Cup, even in victory. I, I, I would I would suspect that that wouldn't even shift the needle to being a soccer nation, a football nation. Many here refer to football as the sleeping giant. It has grown in popularity among some, but remains on the fringes. But if Jolene Kane is any indication of what might happen, football could still have a chance in the US. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.